Sports is sponsored by your Valley Honda dealers. Just a little while ago in this newscast, we talked about how high school athletes can. Oops, <laughs> I fell off my little box. <laughs> All right, at least I didn't get hurt. Restart there. my heart here for a second. <laughs> I'm really uncoordinated, unlike the athletes that can now practice. But they are going to have to follow some new guidelines. Sorry about that, no, Gene. I'm really disappointed in my own reaction. I'm just kind of just standing here going, what, what's happening? Is she going to go what's down? What's happening over there? Nope. Our, our Nick King spoke to several Valley football coaches today to get their reaction to this new set of recommendations. The AIA's new recommended guidelines for returning to athletic activity, not a quick read. 12 pages of protocol for a phased return to high school sports in Arizona. It's going to be a challenge to do all of the things. That was a very exhaustive list. It was like, wow, this is just keeps going and going and going. For football, a few bullet points stand out. No high fives or fist bumps, no hugs, and each participant shall have his or her own ball, additional equipment, and protective gear. It's kind of easier to do uh, right now, but uh, It'll be tough, you know, after you make a sack or a big touchdown. Several coaches we spoke to Friday are preparing to get kids back on campus Monday, June 8th, while others are waiting for more word from the district or diocese. Making sure you're ordering extra hand sanitizer, um, making sure that, you know, we have th enough thermometers to go around. But all see the first few weeks as small group conditioning as they wait to put balls in the air. We want to do this the right way. It would be a shame if we got back out there in the summer and uh, didn't follow the guidelines, and didn't follow the safety, and we had a spike, and then we had to shut down again. We have responsibility as coaches and players to make sure that we can move forward, that we can get to that phase two where we can't play catch. Ultimately, these coaches say the guidelines are an encouraging step toward football this fall if everything goes to plan over the coming weeks and months. Something needed to happen so we could kind of get, if we are going to play, we need to do something so we could get everything going. The goal is not to get back in June. The goal is to be able to kick off at the end of August. Now, another aspect of this, one coach told me he's asking parents to have conversations with their kids about the serious nature of all this to try and prevent the rough housing that typically comes when you get 13 to 17-year-old football players together. Nick King for Arizona's Family.